It far exceeded our expectations. The University of Illinois hit historic numbers this year across the board in admissions. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McLeod Hegeman. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. After a year of students learning exclusively from their computers, the Urbana campus is flooded again with students going to class. And this year, there are more than ever before. WCI3, Sarah Lehman is with us. So, Sarah, just how big of numbers are we talking about? Yeah, Jennifer, we'll take a look. It might not seem like a lot of students from this video, but right now there are more than 56,000 students enrolled. That's up from 52,000 last year. Andy Borst is the director of undergraduate admissions. He says this year the university had a record total enrollment, record undergraduate enrollment, record graduate enrollment, and a record freshman class. He says it's exciting, but not something they were expecting. So it was a little overwhelming being more than we anticipated for. We need to make sure that we're uh, managing for enough planned space in the future years. So our strategic enrollment plan calls for us to just maintain our undergraduate enrollment where it's at. He says next year they will decrease the enrollment target by about 600 students. That's because they reached and exceeded their goal this year. Now, Boris says other than Illinois, China is normally where they get the second highest number of students. But this year that changed to California. Jennifer? Uh, students coming a long way. So why the historic numbers? Right, so I asked university officials that question and they said the crystal ball is always cloudy when it comes to admission. So they don't have a clear answer as to why it happened. And like I said, they really weren't planning for it. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. Now digging into those numbers, like Sarah said, there are more than 56,000 students enrolled. Those numbers break down to more than 8,000 freshmen. That includes nearly 6,000 new students from Illinois and more than 2,000 graduate students.